childhood trauma attached to Pokemon. So, um, I remember I was playing Pokemon Red. I was so close to finishing the game. And it was getting late. So I took the game out of the game console and I put it on the table. On the on the on the kitchen table. I wake up the next morning. I walk out to the kitchen to the to the dining room. And the game's not there. And obviously, being a young rat and you know mama rat like king to move things everywhere i asked mama rat did you touch my game what happened to the game no i have no idea what you're talking about she didn't touch it so i started searching high and low i was searching i was searching the entire house and then i asked mama rat did anyone come over last night because I vaguely remembered when I was, you know, getting into bed and stuff. I heard the door open and I heard voices. So I was like, did anyone come over last night? And then my mom, my, my uh, mama rat, mama rat mm -hmm, was like, oh yeah, my friend and her son came over. Well, you didn't touch the game. Your friend and her young son came over who obviously knows what Pokemon is. I think we can put two and two together. He stole it. He stole it. He took it. There is no other possible explanation. And then I told Mama Rat, hello, your friend's son just robbed me. What are you gonna do about it? And then she said, it's just a game. <laughs> so someone in this world knows what they did took my Pokemon Red. Disgusting. Disgusting. Disgusting! Until this day, Bay was never able to finish Pokemon Red. Yes. I have not finished Pokemon Red till this day. <laughs> and that was the story. That is my traumatic history with Pokemon. So back on track. Uh, what? Uh...